One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. Our organization is creating a global difference and we are inviting anybody who would like to join us. who would like to be a part of creating a global difference too to get involved. This is our weekly progress update number 52, and it covers our team's accomplishments for the week of February 17th, 2014. As always, if you'd like more details, more pictures, uh, links to everything that I'm talking about, please visit our blog. And if you'd like to receive a weekly email with an update or a link every time one of these updates comes out, uh, please send us an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. Let's jump into it. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, and a learner-teacher collaborative learning process. This week in highest good education, the core team, which consists of the satellite and pioneer members, completed 25% of the art, music, and trade skills subject image, which is expanding in the background here. We also completed 70% of the values subject web page, and we are now 40% of the way complete with science subject research, which is topic and images, uh, all happening behind the scenes. And last but not least, we completed the rest of the new social sciences complete subject web page, so we invite you to check that out. It is pretty amazing. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and begins with creating eight different free, shared, and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on Highest Good Food started putting the new food infrastructure roof design into 3D, along with the passive cooling designs we're exploring. That's what you see here in the background. And we also put together a sun study for the Duplicable City Center planting plan, which is now playing in the background here. You can see the whole video on our blog. Uh, in addition to this, we finished the open source Hoop House page, which is an outstanding resource of uh, complete design and cost details, as well as huge diversity of other resources uh, related to Hoop Houses. And our partner Zdenek Zurich has made some progress on the engineering of the new roof design, which you can see here. And David Sweet completed another roof plan for the skylights, which you can see here. And also, Bupesh Sithala is now creating real-to-life 3D models of the complete Phase 1 food infrastructure, which we're excited to share with you here. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master electrician and a master plumber, if you would like to help out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week in High Good Housing, the core team started detailing a systems engineering approach to open source infrastructure development, starting with the Earthbag Village and soon to be applied to all of our infrastructure. We also completed about 50% of the Outer Ring Earthbag Village planting plan behind the scenes, 
And in this area, Devin Porter has begun moving the windows for the outer ring dome layout you see here, setting all those windows one by one so that they are appropriately placed south facing for passive solar heating, which is a huge task uh, with a village this size, and he's about 20% done with that. Victor Herber has also made huge progress on the vermiculture toilet engineering, which you can see here, and more details on the blog. And Philip Gill also provided complete and detailed descriptions of all of the features of the custom furniture designs he's already finished for the Earth Bag Dome homes, uh, leading to our team putting together the pictures you see here and updating the page on the Earth Bag Village portal also, which is where you can read those descriptions if you'd like. In this area of the project, we are seeking a Wi-Fi network designer and a master plumber. If anyone would like to help or know someone who might like to help us finish this open source model. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team working on the duplicable city center completed 3D details for the library, adding in furniture and building the custom shelving specifics. We also completed the initial 3D layout for the outdoor aspect of the indoor-outdoor pool, which is a wading pond and biofilter for the swimming area that is in the center of this structure. And along with this, we completed about 50% of the new natural pool and eco hot tub open source page which will teach people how to duplicate this component of the project, either as an individual component or as part of the Duplicable City Center. And we also are now about 60% done with the Duplicable City Center open source portal redesign. On top of all this, working in CAD, Carl Harris finished a complete redesign of all four floors of stairs inside the structure. In this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer specifically for the cupola to design that so that it can be built without heavy machinery. If you or somebody you know knows someone that could help us out, by all means get in contact with us if you'd like to be a part of this open source component. Two other areas that progressed this last week are areas we haven't reported on in a while. The first is the Global Food Collaborative software partners Guy Fraser and now Chad Parker are working on. Here's a couple screenshots showing they're focusing on building the open source botanical taxonomy and plant list to start. And we're seeking anyone who can help us define or link us to open source resources of macroscopic morphology for plant species. The other exciting area is the custom open source city operations software we are designing. You can learn the details of what this software will do and access the open source code for the current version our team has been using for over a year now all on our website. Core team is now completely revamping this software and here's the first screenshot we've got to share after weeks of work. In this example I'm viewing the highest good network group which is the parent or top level group of the application. From here you'll be able to navigate between subgroups using the arrows next to the group title, view members, and click on people's images for their profiles. So that's our weekly update, and this is our call out to the makers, the creators, the global innovators, those world change people that want to be a part of making a global difference with us. We're addressing all aspects of the human experience because we see all of these things as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And our approach to making a global difference is to take a global view of what's going on and to address every aspect, the very foundations of a sustainable civilization, to create a blueprint, to create a template, to create a whole suite of tools, tutorials, and resources that can be implemented as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world, to share what it is that we're doing, to give more resources, to provide even more, and to invite more people to add their innovation, to add their creativity to the global archive of information that's being started and being created right now. So if you're somebody that thinks this is exciting, if you're somebody that loves what we're doing and would like to be a part of World Change with us, you are invited to join us. Either join us as a pioneer member, the people that will build one community, join us as a partner or a consultant, or join us in spreading the word. Join us as a connector, somebody that's helping to get the word out and sharing what it is that we're doing. 
People ask, what will it take to start building one community? It only take one person. It just takes that one person that sees what it is that we're creating to invest in one community, to either donate to our 501c3 nonprofit or to invest in us, help us get the property off the market. And that could take this project to a whole new level of creation and sharing and open source and free sharing, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, thank you. And as always, uh, follow our progress. If you're just somebody who'd like to keep in, keep in touch with us, who'd like to stay up on the activities that you've just finished, this is our 52, 52nd weekly blog. So we're excited to have been weekly video blogging now for a year. Uh, this has been a full-time job for me for three years now, but it's been a year that we've been weekly, weekly video blogging on our progress. And um, if you just want to follow what it is that we're doing, follow us on social media. You can also follow us uh, by sending us an email and we'll put you on our email list. And that email address is onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. So as always, thanks for following our progress. Thanks for your support. And until next week, have a great week.